What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Rival NHL channel. Today we got a new event and they brought out Team of the Season. Team of the Season Week 1 celebrates some of the best regular season performances from NHL Young Stars and Junior Leagues. Now Team of the Season is just like Team of the Year. Anytime they get a card above their overall, so once... Zegris gets a 95 overall, his team of the season goes up to a 95. Before anything, guys, let me just go through and show you who got a card. I'm not going to go over attributes just yet. Heads up, though, every team of the season card does get a plus three on their synergy. Even these guys at the bottom, the 92s, they all get a plus three on their synergies. All three of them. Very nice. So here is everybody. As you can see, 99 overall, Michael Bunting. We have a 99 Kairu, so we do see two 99s. And then the 96 Thompson, 95 Thomas, very good looking cards, those top four. Next up, Hugh Zegras, Badar Darlene, another awesome four. Darlene would be an awesome one to get in a pack, I would have to say. He would fit on my team perfectly. That Darlene looks sweet. Keep going down here so you guys can take a look. Jake Ottinger, we did have his 92 but we did use him in a set at some point. I'm sure some of you guys out there are kind of regretting trading in MSPs right now, but is what it is, man. Quinn Hughes is another one I traded in way back. It was a Halloween card. So for the team of the year, Youngstar sets, you can trade in MSPs. As I just mentioned, I mentioned the Ottinger. Team of the season, Trevor Zegras, Hughes, Ottinger, Darlene, Jack Hughes, Bedard, and Kairou. Oh, and Noah Dobson. So I know a lot of you guys are going to feel strongly about this. Uh, Jack Hughes. Now, you guys displayed... Uh, your dismay. You guys were upset in my chat earlier because some of you guys have the 93 All-Star game, Jack Hughes. You cannot use him. This is master set players only. It sucks. I feel your pain. I feel your pain because Jordan Kairou, you can trade in his 99 and in return you get back that card and the team of the season. Michael Bunting, I have. But he was not a master set player, so he does not get a set. Same thing with Lucas Raymond. It sucks. Let's take a look at the objectives, and this is what really upset me earlier. It did. A little bit of a rant once I saw this. 1,000 coins. Wow. Wow. A whopping 1,000 coins for each objective. So this Team of the Season event that we look forward to every year, they're going to they're gonna reward us with 6,000 coins. One Team of the Season collectible. One... And uh, we get a power-up collectible. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section. Go to the pack store. Yes, there are new packs out. Now, this one is an untradeable. 9.2% chance at a 90 plus. 39 at an 86 or better. But that is untradeable. Now, for the tradables, 9.1 for 90. I like that they show that. Like, when they don't show 90 plus at this point in the year, it really upsets me. So, I'm happy. I'm happy it's there. We go to the next pack, and this one is a 13% chance at an 86 or better. This one does not show you the 90+, plus, but hey, at least this one does. All right, guys, we got to grab our premium gold upgrade. These have been juiced all year. If you guys have not done them yet today, do this one with me. And if you guys do get any sick pack pulls, make sure to tweet your pack pulls at me. I want to see them. I want to see you guys pull these 99 Kairus. <laughs> I'm going to be hating so hard. All right, let's go over to the inventory. Unopened packs. We have three here. And then we'll go ahead and open up that choice pack. We did open that earlier today on stream, you guys. You guys peer pressured me into that one. Here we go. Maybe get lucky. Not. We get an 81 overall out of that one. But now the 82 plus guaranteed. Come on. And the NHL players back. And then we'll drop 20k on that pack. Reveal all. Oh! I got excited happened last time too i was pulling freaking moment cards when when trade deadline came out i don't understand oh well i got an 86 i'm happy okay i'm happy but i'm like what the hell <laughs> all right we continue on nhl players pack 10 items all gold nhl players with at least four 80s or better here we go theme of the season pull come on oh no don't tell me don't oh purple 90 oh yeah in NHL moments, oh, ho, ho, ho. Las Vegas Golden Knight, Dadanov, and I don't even know if that trade should have happened. Oh, another one, 86 Flurry. I was going to say, I don't even know if that trade was supposed to happen. I thought that got off after the deadline, but they made it happen. We get two purples in this pack. Unfortunately, a freaking base Flurry. One of you guys tagged me on Twitter and pulled a 95 Flurry. So, hey, congrats to you. We get an 86 and a 90, so congrats to me on that. 
Send all to collection. All right, point leader pack. It's only a 13% chance, but please, please help me out. We need it. Here we go, guys. Again, if you guys did get anything crazy in your packs, tweet those pack pulls at me. I want to see them. Point leader pack, the worst one of the bunch for the team of the season packs. But maybe, maybe we will get lucky. We're coming off a couple of purple pulls. Maybe they'll toss us another. Chris Letang. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, gosh. Three cards left. I'm going to do reveal. All on it. And we get nothing. Send all to collection. We have one more. We have one more. It's only trading in eight silvers. But we pulled a 91 overall the other day when we traded in eight silvers. So maybe, maybe get lucky again. No. All right, guys. I will go ahead and show you the choice pack. Now, we had to trade in 20 of these team of the season collectibles. It's pretty pricey. 20 is a decent amount. You don't get very many uh, for the 90 pluses. So it was 20. It might be too much. But hey, man, if you get a 99, Kairu, don't screw me, please. 93? Okay. Okay. 92 Banes. Destroy Terry we took a look at. And I mean, wasn't, wasn't too bad. He is a right-hander, so he'd go on the left side. Not really who we want, though. And... Yeah, I'm not taking him. Bedard Hughes. Last and final. 92. Oh, man. I, I, I have nothing left in my inventory. Nothing. Shoot. Yeah. It's going to have to be. Appreciate that follow. Oh, well. Was hoping for that Kairu. Kairu would have went on left wing. So I don't know if he's actually going to play. But right now we did stick him on the line for it. We have not played with him yet. I actually, I want to get like five games with the guy at least. Before I make a decision. But who got replaced? 95 overall Giroud. The all-star game MVP card. So Giroud's better than this guy. He's probably going to make his way back. But Troy Terry for now is on the team. Let me drop that webcam so you can take a look at all of his attributes. Again, these team of the season cards are pretty nice because plus three on the synergies. That is insane. For superstar abilities, wheels, third eye, elite edges, close quarters, one T, and make it snappy as a zone ability. For now, he is on that line four with Crosby and Dylan Larkin. But again, we'll have to see what happens. If you're new to the channel, there is the defense. Looking great and goalies all right guys to end the video i am just going to go through these guys individually worth mentioning michael bunting grew an inch he's now six feet tall on his fantasy hockey card and his team of the season he was 5 11 so he goes up an inch he grew he grew one inch that is interesting for michael bunting crease crusher tape to tape truculence unstoppable force close quarters and no contest again i cannot trade in my fantasy hockey card for this which is really unfortunate because I do play him at the center position. And this one has a 98 face-off, man. I would I would love to add him to the squad, but they're not going to let me because it's not an MSP. Jordan Kyrou was an MSP, so you can go ahead and trade in your fantasy hockey card to get him. And I would highly recommend to do so because of the synergy. You know, being plus three, some pretty good synergies too. All around, great looking card, obviously. And there are his abilities. The next guy, Thompson. Now, the top eight here, I absolutely love. Thompson, 6'6", 218 pounds. He is a center. That's the perfect build for a center, man. That is, that is crazy. You can get that face off up to a 90. I would recommend you to activate Thief for sure for that reason. Outside of that, Distributor and Spark can get that acceleration and speed up. Next up, Thomas, 6 feet tall, 187 pounds. Synergy is looking as so. For the superstar abilities, boom. Close quarters and tape to tape as a zone ability. Next up, we have the Jack Hughes card. Show you guys the synergies. And superstar abilities. Overall, a great looking card. Again, 93 all-star game cannot, cannot be traded in for this card. But if you have the 92 MSP, you can do that. Trevor Zegra is 6 feet tall, 183 pounds. He is going to play good. His... 22 card played amazing this card will play great ggs if you do have his msp because this team of the season is going to be a great one next up Connor bedard age 16 so 
finally got a driver's license and take a look at his team of the season card looks great make it snappy as a zone ability he's gonna be fast he's gonna have great hands and a great shot all around counter bedard will play well rasmus Dahlin. i would love to add this one absolutely love it we took a look at him earlier on stream and the things that i really liked about this card is for superstar abilities he does have a 1t down here and then for his zone ability it is actually heat seeker that's awesome i wish i could be lucky enough to get this card he would replace morgan riley and i would just go ahead and you know sell that morgan riley he is the only tradable we have left noah dobson 6 483 pounds decent looking d-man here right hander superstar abilities seeing guy seeing guy paired with like one t or or heat seeker that is a nasty nasty combo i would recommend that zone ability heat seeker i love it he's looking as so we had a jake godinger earlier in the year yes i got rid of him yes i threw him in the set zone ability light work i would prefer that to be a gold post to post and then light work be one of the silvers troy terry we already took a look at him next up baines Six feet tall, 176 pounds. Synergy's looking as so. He was an option, but not going to lie, I did not know who Baines was when he showed up in the pack. I did not know. I didn't. My bad. Next up, we have Pratt, 5'10", 185. A lot of the same synergies as the other guys. Ooh, a silver Spino. X-Factor Kaner with, the, with his Spino is awesome. He has Snipe, Third Eye, Elite Edges. Next up, a Clark card. I see 1T and Heat Seeker on him. I love that on D-Man, plus the guy, gosh. And then he has Stick'em Up. We have a gold Stick'em Up on Morgan Riley, our fantasy hockey Morgan Riley. And it plays really well. I would recommend you guys to try that out. Next up, Synergies, looking as so. And Heat Seeker, seeing guy again, nasty combo there. Kind of, kind of trying to fly through these now, guys. I don't want to take too much time. Boom, boom, boom. Card looks good. This is more so for the people who have not gotten to their gaming consoles yet. Another goalie here. Now, he does have gold post to post and that silver light work. I prefer that over what we saw from Jake Ottinger. However, uh, smaller, less weight, more aggression. Next up, another left-handed D-man. And I'm already seeing what I like, the 1T and Heat Seeker. Truculence for you big hitters. I don't hit a whole lot, so Truculence is not that valuable to me. But if you hit a lot, you need some Truculence on your squad. He also has a gold shutdown, but with that being six ability points now, that is a whole lot. Next up, Vancouver fans, I bet you are happy about this one. 87 overall, Hut Halloween. Quinn Hughes can be traded in. So take a look at that set. Again, that's one that I did trade in, but it's all good. Heat Seeker, 1T. I probably wouldn't toss him on the team. 5'10", 170 pounds. That is a little small for a D-man, but I mean, if you're a Vancouver fan, you want that card, I'm sure. Next up, Johnston. Energy is looking decent, of course, plus three on all. He does have that big tipper. I heard big tipper is kind of cheesy. Quick draw, six ability points. No, thank you. Synergies look decent. Abilities, 1T, Thunderclap. Seeing guy and the gold heat seeker. A lot of gold heat seekers. Jeez, I'm jealous. Lucas Raymond, another one I am dismayed about. Cannot trade in my fantasy hockey card. 92 overall, but his fantasy is a 93. I'm sure they'll fix that. Next up, more Insider. Only 20 years old. And this guy's going to be so good when he's like 23. Imagine when he's 25. Very good one to get right here, guys. Not even going to lie. His fantasy hockey card was one that I did want to pull. Superstar abilities looking good. Got a heat seeker with the seeing eye. Zone ability tape to tape. 6'4", 196 pounds. Right-handed defenseman. He should play well, guys. Take a look at the next guy. Elmer. What are those two dots? That's an ooh sound. Suterbloom. And this guy looked crazy good. 6'8", 238 pounds. That is... That's just stupid, honestly. 95 face-off rating. Give me this guy. What the heck? What the heck? You would have to decide between speed and acceleration, it looks like. So one or the other could go up to a 92. But outside of that, you cannot get another acceleration. Everything is on this, this center one, speed and acceleration. 
abilities unstoppable force i mean 6'8 238 he's already an unstoppable force and a big rig and a total eclipse <laughs> he has that it's tricky and puck on a string for that zone ability if you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to smash that thumbs up it always helps out the videos when you guys do that for me i am going to end this with one more nhl players pack i think it's definitely an overpay considering how hard it is to even get collectibles but i want to open one more i'm sorry i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and trade in my 90 in return we get a four gold player pack and a three event collectible pack so we're gonna take two of those three get one more nhl players bag i don't even recommend this by the way this is probably going to end in a bad way again it's just an overpay for this nhl players pack but maybe they juice the odds a little for us we'll have to see Claim our three, send all two collection. Okay, okay guys, okay, this is it. This is what we're ending the video with. Again, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash that thumbs up, drop a comment below. Let me know how you feel about this event. 82, no. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. If you enjoy hockey, ultimate team content, this is the place to be. Peace out. Ouch!